Good evening. I'm Roberto Lewis. And I'm Eileen Mary O'Connell. Here's tonight's top story. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly may leave his job soon after repeatedly getting into clashes with the First Lady. In fact, Melania's relationship with Kelly is so cold, she sometimes calls him Donald. <laughs> On Thursday, a federal judge called Florida the laughing stock of the world for its inability to properly conduct an election, and also for everything else that happened in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump has reportedly been asking his aides whether they think Mike Pence is loyal. They all said that Pence is completely loyal because he refuses to have lunch alone with any other president. <laughs> Ann Coulter told TMZ on Thursday that there are no Nazis in America. Otherwise, she would have an easier time making friends. <laughs> a conservative gift re retailer has launched a Lego-like toy called MAGA Building Blocks. Kids can then cut their parents' social security so they have enough blocks to build a wall. <laughs> NASA predicts that people will be on Mars within the next 25 years. And within the next 26 years, Mars will be full of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the mansion used in The Bachelor has escaped damage from the California wildfires. Comment to the firefighter. We managed to put out the fire. However, there is still quite a bit of burning at the Bachelor's mansion. Did you all got to wake up? Kim Kardashian told the summit on criminal justice Wednesday that she's educated Kanye West on President Trump's policies. And that is the first time the words Kim Kardashian and educated have ever appeared in the same sentence. <laughs> Speaking of, and now we're Her News Meets Hollywood here with the entertainment news is Kim Kardashian! <laughs> And I'll have you know that educated and my name have been in many sentences together. That my mom says. <laughs> so, James Cameron announced that he has finished filming the next two sequels to Avatar. Now James Cameron needs to find more than five people interested in seeing the next two sequels of Avatar. <laughs> and I'm trying to find more than five people who care that my house almost burned down this week. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Perry from Aerosmith collapsed backstage and was hospitalized, but doctors said that in a few days he will walk this way. <laughs> but in more important news, I was hospitalized this week for a panic attack because my house almost burned down. <laughs> the director of the first episode of the final seasons of Game of Thrones said that this season will be, quote, have surprises and shocking moments. For instance, one of the characters won't sleep some with someone that they're related to. <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs, I have so much footage of me sleeping with people that I'm not related to. <laughs> and this concludes my Emmy for your consideration campaign for my sex tape with Ray J. <laughs> And it was announced that John Cryer is going to play Lex Luthor in CW's Supergirl. Commented Cryer. I will get into the mind of an evil character by remembering what it was like to work with Charlie Sheen. <laughs> and finally, Brian Cranston said that there may be a movie for Breaking Bad. And Nick Cage signed on instantly because he just heard the words, bad movie. <laughs> Move over, Nick. Bad movies, my brand. Have you not seen my sex tapes? Okay, yeah. And I should be in it because I'm perfect for Jesse Pinkman because my ass has been known to spread pink eye. made to look like the Flintstones car was pulled over for speeding. <laughs> Which means he can somehow make his feet go really, really, really fast. <laughs> a 2,200-year-old computer has been found amongst the wreckage of an ancient shipwreck. Comment to the scientist who examined the computer. After hours of research, the mechanics of the device, while primitive, do contain some pretty decent pornography. <laughs> Uh, according to a new study, the 
Earth's population in 2050 will be larger, heavier, and eat more. The study was conducted on everyone you went to high school with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> A new study says that chronic pot use may have serious effects on the brain. In particular, it makes your brain super cool. <laughs> Jell-O has unveiled a line of edible slime. It's the first time Jell-O has worked with slime since Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> According to research, millennials are having less sex than baby boomers and Gen Xers. Although, to be fair, millennials are still the most fucked generation. <laughs> 